In this video, we are going to talk about the future of quantum computers. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Our phones are now millions of times more powerful than the computers used to land Apollo 11 on the moon. Scientists are now investigating the power of quantum computers, which are 100 million times faster than any classical computer and, in theory, will be able to solve computation problems that are currently considered impossible. The promise of quantum computers is that they will help to quickly answer questions that today's computers would take decades to solve. According to Peter Chapman, CEO of quantum startup IONQ, the variances between quantum computers and classical computers are even greater than those between classical computers and pen and paper, and quantum computers, because they process information differently, are expected to be able to address humanity's greatest challenges. Companies and researchers are racing to capitalize on the enormous opportunity, but what exactly is a quantum computer? Bits are used in regular computers to store information that has only two states, zero or one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, allow subatomic particles to exist in more than one state at the same time, allowing them to be either a zero, a one, or both at the same time. Quantum bits, also known as qubits, can thus handle much larger amounts of information much faster than a traditional computer. Quantum computers are not intended to replace traditional computers. In practice, they will be distinct tools used to solve complex, data-heavy problems, particularly those involving machine learning, where the system can make predictions and improve over time. What is the purpose of a quantum computer? You don't have one unless someone else does. If they have a quantum computer, you will want one as well. Nations around the world are investing heavily in the field, fueled by the promise of new technologies that will benefit all of society. When it comes to quantum computing, no one wants to be left out and this desire is sparking a global arms race. A standard computer works with digital bits of zeros and ones, whereas quantum computers work with quantum bits or qubits, which can have any value between zero and one. And by tying the qubits together, you can solve problems that traditional computers cannot. A future quantum computer, for example, could crack any of today's common security systems in seconds, such as 128-bit AES encryption. Even the most powerful supercomputer available today would take millions of years to complete the same task. Why is the future of quantum computing so crucial right now? More complex issues are emerging. The problems encountered are becoming more complex as technology advances. Complex problems, such as protein modeling, can be solved using quantum computing. The most recent global crisis caused by COVID-19 demonstrates that scientists require a different tool to model and deactivate a single protein. Energy consumption is another example of an exponential rise in complex problems. As the human population grows and consumption rates rise exponentially, more complex problems such as source optimization emerge. Using the physics of quantum mechanics, quantum computers can be used to overcome the limitations of complex problems. Supercomputers can only solve nonlinear problems. Classical computing is a useful tool for carrying out sequential operations and storing data. However, because chaotic problems are modeled on the basis of linear mathematics, it is difficult to find solutions. Because of its nonlinear properties, quantum computing appears to be a promising candidate for solving nonlinear problems. However, quantum computers are not suitable for all types of computation. Large corporations are investing in quantum technology. Quantum computing has progressed from a research experiment to a tool on the verge of transforming a wide range of industries, including medicine, where quantum computers have achieved rapid DNA sequencing, and transportation, where quantum computers have precisely predicted future traffic volumes. Experts predict that quantum computing will help us understand biology and evolution, cure cancer, and even reverse climate change. The quantum computing market is expected to grow from $507.1 million in 2019 to $64.98 billion by 2030. A number of major technology companies have made significant investments in space. Quantum tools have been released by Microsoft's Azure Cloud, as well as Google and Amazon's respective cloud platforms. Furthermore, AT&T formed the Alliance for Quantum Technologies AQT, with the goal of bringing industry, government, and academia together to accelerate quantum technology development and emerging practical applications. Meanwhile, according to PitchBook, 
quantum-focused startups D-Wave and IONQ have raised $199.69 million and $84 million, respectively. One of the major goals that companies are pursuing right now is what is known as quantum supremacy, which occurs when a quantum computer performs a calculation that no classical computer can perform in a reasonable amount of time. Google claimed quantum supremacy in October 2019, though this claim was disputed. Some experts, such as Intel's director of quantum hardware, Jim Clark, believe that quantum supremacy is even irrelevant. The real goal, he told IEEE, should be quantum practicality, or the point at which quantum computers can actually do something life-changing and unique. Yes, quantum computers have begun to complete basic tasks, but researchers are still slowly approaching the point where quantum computers will be able to do anything game-changing. According to experts, there is still a lot of work to be done. Chirag Decate, VP analyst at Gartner, told Business Insider that quantum computing is easily 5 to 10 years away from delivering any sort of meaningful value. This is due in part to the fact that there are still many problems to be solved in the physics of quantum computing, such as stabilizing the qubits in a system. Still, Forrester principal analyst Brian Hopkins told Insider that the time to invest is now because quantum will have an exponential curve of capabilities once it takes off. That's why smart businesses are investing today, Hopkins explained. Furthermore, they understand when we'll be able to do something useful, how it will affect their industry, and when we might reach that point in the curve where things really take off. What are the potential future applications of quantum computing? Many optimization problems are looking for a global minimal point solution. Optimization problems may be solved faster using quantum annealing than with supercomputers. Machine learning, big data. Researchers in ML and deep learning are looking for efficient ways to train and test models using large data sets. Quantum computing can aid in the speeding up of the training and testing processes. Simulation. A simulation is a useful tool for anticipating potential errors and taking corrective action. Complex systems can be simulated using quantum computing methods. Chemistry and material science are constrained by calculations of the complex interactions of atomic structures. Quantum solutions promise a more rapid way to model these interactions. What are the major challenges for quantum computing in the future? Choosing the best approach. There are various approaches to implementing quantum computing. Because quantum computerization and quantum circuits are expensive to develop, trial and error of various approaches will be time and money consuming. Different approaches for different applications appear to be the most likely solution for the time being. QC firms are currently investigating approaches such as the analog quantum model, the universal quantum gate model, and quantum annealing. For example, Microsoft's approach for mass production of qubits is known as the topological qubit method under the quantum gate model. D-Wave created the first commercial quantum annealing hardware solution. Quantum annealing is the most likely approach to solving complex mathematical problems that will be commercialized in the near future. Check out our research on how quantum annealing works and how it can be used in business. Error correction and the production of stable quantum processors. To take advantage of quantum mechanics properties, manipulations at smaller scales, sometimes smaller than an atom, are required. Small scales cause issues with stability and error verification. According to quantum researchers, error correction in qubits is more valuable than the total number of qubits obtained. Because qubits cannot be precisely controlled, solving complex problems remains a challenge. Keeping the extreme operating conditions. IBM keeps the temperature so low, 15 millikelvin, that there is no ambient noise or heat to excite the superconducting qubit, increasing stability and control qubits. Keeping the temperature so low creates stability issues in and of itself. Operating conditions must be improved before a quantum computer or processor can be widely commercialized. Researchers are investigating ways to use quantum processors at higher temperatures. The highest operating temperature was recently reached. The highest operating temperature was 1 Kelvin, or minus 272 degrees Fahrenheit. However, it appears that operating these systems at room temperature takes longer. Problems such as stability and error correction are dependent on technological investment, research resources, and quantum mechanics advancements. Various organizations are attempting to obtain the most accessible quantum computer technology through a variety of methods. It will take some time to determine which approach will be successful in various areas. 
So that's it for today's video. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification before you go. Thanks for watching.